What to do, my baby booze, and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Runaway Teen Pregnancy Challenge. I am not exactly sure why I got so musical all of a sudden. My bad. Just ignore it. So we are actually on New Year's Eve over at Ahote's apartment, and it's kind of funny. We got here just as, I think her name is Maya, right? Yeah, Maya was getting home. You know what? We decided that we were going to go ahead and give a hotel Ruby for the night so that we can go and do our radio interview. We have an interview with our band at the main radio station in San Myshuno or, you know, downtown New York, New York, New York, whatever. What is she doing? <laughs> she just left the baby rolling around having a great time in the hallway. Um, Can we, can we actually grab her, please? And then, I don't know, like put her, I don't know, in the crib or something. Let's pick her up, please. I, I don't understand. Oh, no, no, no. Maya, leave her alone. So we did come to an agreement. Um, I know Tasha really does not. I mean, she's she's kind of getting over the drama that happened with Maya and Ahote just because she kind of is getting over Ahote in general. Like she is super, what is she doing? Where is she going? She's really into Mateo. Is this, okay, I thought this was like dirty or something, but no, it's just, it's just how, it's just how Ahote lives, I guess. It's still a sty in here. <laughs> Where is Ahote? Uh, I guess he is not home right now. Um, And that's what I was going to say is that she's been kind of getting over it. Her and Maya don't hate each other anymore. Let me just show you. Like their relationship isn't like the best, but it's it's not the worst anymore. Honestly, I kind of want to have her go over here and just talk to Maya. Share single and loving it tips. Um, You know what? I just want to just be friendly. Just be cordial. Let's just have a deep conversation and just let her know, you know, I am okay with you watching the baby, which is kind of happening at the best time right now too because he's not here so she's like okay just make sure that she eats at this time and takes her nap at this time and Maya's like I got you like it's it'll be fine you know Maya has actually been wanting to get back on my good side for a very long time and I think Ruby is kind of her way in oh she does look at her look at her she doesn't like me still she still has some kind of like issue with me but it's like you know you stole my man like <laughs> understand why you have such an issue with me is it because i beat your ass is that why is it because i beat your ass that's probably what it is whine about unfair life i feel like that's what she's doing but you know what you chose your bed so go ahead and lay in it and uh you're gonna be watching my baby during new year's eve oh my god she's crying she's like i want my mommy i don't want to be a daddy's oh my goodness I feel so bad having to leave her now. Oh my gosh. But we don't want to be late for our um, interview with the radio station. And she's going to be playing a new song too at the radio station as well. So I'm pretty excited. Oh, okay. Oh, she's celebrating New Year's. <laughs> that is great. Oh my gosh. She's like, I'm about to go to a party. Well, she doesn't know that yet, actually. Maya's like, hell yeah, we're going to have something going on. Actually, you better not have anything going on with my daughter there. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go over. I don't know. Like, I don't think I have really an outfit for her to wear. Maybe we should go shopping or something. I have a bus stop, I'm pretty sure, somewhere nearby. Uh, she had to have used it in order to get here. So I do want to go over kind of by where we live and um, and pick up an outfit, maybe something befitting of an interview at the radio station. So let's go on over to, I think like the strip mall that's near our house. Let's Hello. go over there. We're just gonna Apologize. take the bus real quick. Okay, folks, we have arrived at the, I don't know, this little strip mall by our house. Um, so it has a little toy shop, a boutique, a furniture shop, and some vintage stuff. I think that has not even been updated. Honestly, I have not touched this thing in a while. I think since our prom we went here for. Um, so we have the boutique that we are going to be aiming for right now. Yeah, this is where we picked out our prom dress and my dog just got in the room. Hold on. But we we are going down to the first floor of the boutique because they have some winter styles. Honestly, it is the last day of winter. <laughs> so this is kind of like a terrible time to start buying clothes for it, but you know, it'll be fine. <laughs> so this is actually an outfit that we kind of had for a while. I feel like we had 
this exact outfit. Let's go over here, just kind of so we're inside of the boutique. I really like the look of this though. This could be really cute for New Year's. I like these jeans, but I'm pretty sure Millie has something very similar to that. We have this, which is not very New Year's Eve-y. I don't know. What, is she already trying something on? Oh no, this is, this is just one of her everyday outfits. Okay, and then we have this with Brooklyn on it. I don't know, I just feel like maybe this is like the only kind of formal looking thing. Let me just try this outfit on and just see what happens, if any magic happens or, or whatnot. I don't know, I just wanna look good for my very first radio interview. Granted, nobody's gonna see it except for the interviewer, but like, I feel like a hot shot right now, you know? Ooh. It looks like she likes it, but okay, there we go. There we go. I'm like, I need to see it. Okay, so this is the outfit. Oh, this is actually really cute. So this is what it looks like. I think she looks adorable in it. We're gonna have to do some like makeover with her makeup and hair, but it looks really, really cute. I really like the rings. The rings and the nails come with it. Heck yeah. Um, And then we got some fishnets and boots and a cute little gold necklace. I don't know. That could be cute. I don't know you guys. Honestly, I'm kind of on the fence about it, um, everything. <laughs> you know what? Let's try let's try Walmart. I feel like, I mean, I guess we could purchase this, but I'm kind of on the fence about it, to be honest with you. Like, it just doesn't scream New Year's to me, you know? And we already owned something like that, and I'm not sure about this one. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna, real quick, we're gonna stop at Walmart. It's just down the street, so we're not even gonna have to take the bus. So let's go to Walmart and see what they have over there. So we just got to Walmart, and it looks like this is the only outfit that is just kind of like on a mannequin. But I'm gonna go ahead. I, I just came up with an idea because honestly, this is not what I'm going for either. I kind of want like a party dress or something, but I'm gonna go look through the um, the clothes here and we're just gonna go into create a sim and try on a few things and just see what happens. Okay, so I came up with this in create a sim. When I think New Year's Eve, for some reason, I just think silver and sparkles. So we have a lot of silver going on. She's got this beautiful silver dress dress and she got these new gorgeous silver high heels and um, got her nails done white and then I just wanted to do a little bit of some like glamorous kind of makeup and accessories. We're probably not gonna say she got all this from Walmart because let's be honest I don't think Walmart would have something like this but maybe we'll say she went back to that boutique and she found this stuff on the shelf. I think that this is gonna look beautiful for our interview at the radio station so we're gonna purchase this outfit and uh, we'll just do our own hair and makeup because I think she's starting to get, get kind of good with that as she ages. So, you know, when we first started this LP, she was very natural. But honestly, as she's getting more famous and growing up a little bit more, she's just starting to appreciate the beauty in makeup and hair styling. So I think that she looks gorgeous. And uh, now we can get back to the game. In, in the mix. In the mix. Hi, this is Britney Spears. It's what up, what up, this Jay-Z. This is Jennifer Lopez. Uh, the mix with the hottest DJ. What up, what up, what up? This is your girl, Holly, welcoming you back to a hot show here at SMS Radio. But don't switch from the station because we've got a special interview about to take place with the one and only Llama Sick. Okay, you guys have no idea how long it took me to set this up so that we could actually interview Llama Six. So we have our little radio host here. Her name is Holly Alto. She is the main radio host of the evenings at San Myshuno Studios. Holly Alto hosts her own radio show in the evenings at San Myshuno Studios. She's an avid shit talker and has interviewed the most famous of Sims. So she has her own little show here and she personally heard about Llama Six sick obviously after they hit the radios so she requested to do an interview with the band now I can't get Ivan to sit down on this dang couch and it's kind of bugging me like he just does he just refuses he just refuses to sit on this couch watch him do it though after I say he refuses to do it is it gonna happen nope yep see he refuses okay so we're just gonna forget that he is not cooperating and we're just gonna go in for the the kill the interview so our main goal here is to interview her and then to ask about her day 
today and ask about her personal life. I'm gonna go over to her as Holly, of course, and we're gonna keep keep clicking until we get to radio interview here. And we have all of these options. We can ask her about her life philosophy, about her personal life, her or just latest events in general, sports events, fashion show, Bella Goth's new clothing line, <laughs> inform your listeners for everything, discuss the negative side of social media, and discuss positive outcome of social media, and then gossip about other celebrities. She doesn't really know any other celebrities, so I'm not sure we can gossip about others, but we'll see what happens. So this is my first time using the mod, by the way. So if anything goes wrong, just, you know, just know that this is my very first time. So I think the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is ask about Tasha in particular's social life or personal life. She's going to be like, so I heard that you're a single mother. At what age did you become pregnant? And do you have a daughter or a son? It's just so interesting to me. <laughs> Tasha's like, oh God. She's like, of course, this is the first question I get asked. She's like, yes, I have a beautiful daughter. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel you you just get me. So she was making some little puns about the band name. Okay. So yeah, Tasha's just talking about Ruby and how much she loves her and just, you know, how much Ruby has done for her, you know, personally. And she's grown so much because of her. And yeah, all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and ask her about other celebrities like so have you met any other celebrities do you know anyone personally like I know you've done a couple um, concerts have you met anybody from like the a-list or anything and Tasha's like no I have not met anybody I am very very new to this whole fame thing myself and uh, Millie's just sitting there like can I get a question like bro <laughs> Ivan is just in here just listening I guess fuck social media I'm dope in real life you yeah, that's right I don't know Tasha's just kind of taking the lead in this whole interview I wonder if I can interview you, Millie now that she's here or since she's here I cannot I can only talk to Tasha that kind of sucks Millie is going through a phase Millie is feeling distant and will prefer to be alone for a while oh my god I wonder if Millie's starting to get a little bit jealous just because you know Tasha's the singer so of course she's gonna be getting most of the attention the singers just generally are looked at as like the main band member it's really sad because they wouldn't be anywhere without their fellow bandmates but you know that's just how it is sometimes let's see let's ask about their life philosophy so what do you do then to get inspiration for the songs that you write because I heard that you're the writer for the band oh Millie poor Millie Tasha's trying to answer this question the best she can and Millie's just sitting here so jealous Tasha's like well I mean I take my real life emotions and I just apply them to my music I've always written ever since I was a little kid and music is just one of those are you kidding me <laughs> Just completely um, trash the interview. Okay, what is she doing? She's like getting up. No, I want you to chat from your radio station chair. Thank you very much. Go ahead and sit down. So it's almost five, so I kind of want to wrap up the interview a little bit. Oh, wow, she's making a toast. She's like, this is the coolest interview. I'm so glad to be standing here with Llama Sick. Oh, come on, Ivan. The rumors are true. Millie Ring wants to go to the prom with Ivan. Will he go? Okay, so we're not going to the prom. Obviously, we're here instead. So we're gonna say of course just so that they don't lose any like relationship but yeah I mean if they were going to the prom they would go together but we're not going to the prom so Okay, we get it, Ivan. We understand. All right, Ivan. Ivan, can you get off the radio host's chair, though? Like, go over here again. Bruh. Oh, he's talking to Millie. He's like, don't worry. I hear you. I see you. I need to get this radio station host sitting back down in her little chair. Finish your margarita or whatever and get back to interviewing. Millie's so done. She's like standing up. <laughs> oh, my God. This is not going very well for Millie and Ivan. This is going very well for Tasha, though. So we're just going to ask her... One more thing, which is a little personal. Let's go ahead and discuss latest events and basically be like, so were you guys aware that SMSR is hosting a New Year's Eve party up in the lot? Well, not the lobby, but in the penthouse above the radio station. She's like, no, I didn't know that. She's like, well, would you like to come and perform there? Tasha's like, oh my gosh, yeah, of course. I just wrote this new song. 
Okay, Millie. Okay. Um, Dasha did write a new song about her crush, and she's been, you know, dying to perform it in front of an audience. And Holly's like, oh, wow. Well, did you know we have a studio here where you can record the song at our very own radio station? And Millie's like, yeah, let's record it, Tasha. Let's record it. And Tasha's like, okay, well, yeah, I guess we can do that. So they're going to go ahead and do the recording live from the radio station. And I'm just going to wrap this up say we did it we did it yay i don't know what happens if we get gold though let's end this early it was an interview if not the most successful interview ever but practice teaches you you receive 500 simoleons right now we're in um technically tasha's household so that's not gonna happen but the radios the radio host um earns 500 simoleons for each interview that she holds and i guess you know what we can say that the band gets a little bit of money too right i mean i feel like you would get paid to get an interview We'll say everybody in the band got 200 simoleons for this interview. Okay, well, that's cool. We were invited to this New Year's Eve party and we we're able to go ahead and record the newest song that uh, she wrote. Before we do that, I want to show you around the radio station though, because I didn't really get to the entrance of San Myshuno Studios Radio. On the right is where you go in to do your radio stuff. And then on the left is more of the like, club part of the studios so this is where guests and like most special guests can come up and you know just go ahead and drink a little bit watch some live music smoke some hookah there is a vip section over here where you know just like uh celebrities can go and then they also have a rooftop thing <laughs> going on where you can go on the in the hot tub and lounge and have a bonfire it's probably more like suitable for summer <laughs> to do that stuff but it's it's an option and uh, this is where we're gonna go for the party tonight and all uh, that jazz and then once you go into the radio part it's really really cool so they have like a little juice bar snack bar you can grab some chips you can grab coffee and I think some chocolates no okay I totally thought you you were able to grab some chocolates I don't know I have so much functional stuff there are also some vending machines a little water thing and then this is like to the right you get the radio office whatever you call it and then over here you get the little recording studio so this is the other side of the recording studio where like the producer sits and and watches the artist and then through here obviously is where the artists perform and all of that so I think I'm gonna actually give her a stool because this is an acoustic song and she basically only has um, Millie helping her in this song Ivan isn't really part of it I guess he could play the bass guitar though but uh, yeah, I can't wait to show you her brand new song that she based on Mateo, her little crush thing that she's got going on lately. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, perform our song here.
Millie's like, did you see how he was looking at you? Oh my gosh, when did you invite Mateo? Tasha's like, well, I invited him a little bit earlier, right after we got invited to this party. <laughs> She's like, you really wrote that song for him? And Tasha's like, yeah, I can't believe he saw it. Oh my gosh, I wonder what he's gonna say. Here he comes up the stairs. Oh my gosh. So we have a DJ right now, kind of like, you know, turning the club up as we speak. And we have some TVs over here for when the ball drops and we'll be all ready. Oh my God, why is Maya here? Ahote better not be here because that means that Ruby is alone or like they passed her on to another babysitter or something. And I don't understand how they'd be here anyways. Okay, Marcus, you need to like get a punching bag or something. What is going on? I need Tasha to go say hello to Mateo. Share single and loving it tips. Oh my goodness. Let's express our gratitude for Mateo. I think she's gonna start flirting with him a bit, you know? She's gonna be like, do you want a drink, Mateo? Because she has a fake ID now. So I think I'm actually gonna order drinks for the entire group. Ooh, we have a discount. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm really tempted to do rum and Cokes again, but Virgin, no, we don't want Virgin anything. Okay, what is the cheapest alcohol I can get here? Mimosas are 64. I think the, the cheapest thing I have here is 64. Oh wait, 40? No, that's sparkling water. Yeah, let's just do mimosas all around because I know that has alcohol in it and I think everything else is virgin. Oh my gosh, he's like, you did amazing. Your song was incredible. I couldn't believe that you, you sound so good, Tasha. She's like, thank you. Do you know who I wrote that song about? He's like, oh God. He's like, uh, no. You wrote that about a specific person? She's like, yeah, bartender. Let's get some mimosas for everybody. She's like, oh my God, it's cold in here. He's like, okay, good. She forgot all about who she wrote the song for. I'm hoping it wasn't me. You know, he feels a little bit bad because he's been hanging out with her and she's still in high school and, you know, he just feels like he's like almost taking advantage of her, you know? He doesn't want to move things any further, even though I think he does kind of like her. They're just staring at each other right now. What is going on? Talk to Mateo about family. Do something. Mateo's like, so how is Ruby doing then? And she's like, Ruby's fine. She's at her dad's house. Are we getting our mimosas or what? Oh, okay. We have our mimosas. Is that mine? Is that mine? Oh, that better be mine. Okay, I'm drinking. The oh, Ivan, dang it. Okay, drink this one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, he's got his. Tasha, drink this one. Hurry up. <laughs> Before someone steals it. I want to be able to drink at least one. Oh crap. Now he's got it. Drink this one. Get a drink. Oh my God, I'm hoping. Hoping and praying, praying and hoping. Girl, come on. Okay, we should um, make a New Year's resolution too. I wonder if we can do that. Can you please just grab this drink? Come on, I'm trying to get crunk tonight. Why did she just turn? No, do not go outside. Oh, damn. <laughs> so Millie took the drink. Um, okay, I'm gonna order another drink for myself because everyone else took my mimosas. So uh, if it's just gonna be for me, sex on the beach, I feel like would definitely be a her kind of drink. So we're gonna order a sex on the beach. And then how do I, girls stop changing into that. How do I do a new year's resolution? Make resolutions to participate, to participate. Click on your sim and select make resolution. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Oh my God, the ball's gonna drop soon, like really soon. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead make a resolution okay so we can become a better student complete an aspiration or a milestone get a significant other ha, ha, ha. raise a skill write a book get fit or lose weight I think I want to get a bay within a week Ooh, within a week Ooh, that's not a lot of time <laughs> to complete this you know what let's just say become a better student increase the sims grade within a week to complete this resolution she really wants to complete high school like that is her entire point Point this year, you know, she's just really, really trying to get that diploma so that she doesn't let Ruby down. And we need to, can we switch the, oh wait, it's already on, it's already on, okay. Made a resolution, Tasha made a resolution to become a better student. Get started on that homework. See progress on the resolution by opening up the Symology panel. Okay, so I wonder when I'm able to actually count down to midnight. Uh, Participate, watch the countdown, midnight V, the countdown will be available after
after 11. Okay, so in like 10-ish minutes. Can you please get me a drink? Listen, I might just make a drink myself because you are getting on my last nerves. Actually, I what, have to make my own drink. What the fuck? Let's try a gin fizz. Shoot. Move aside, old man. I am going to show you how it's done. Okay, it's after 11. Make that drink really, 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 really fast. And then uh, we are going to go ahead and everyone else is kind of watching. I want to watch right next to Mateo. Ixnay on the drink. Whatever. We'll get one afterwards. All right. Come stand by Mateo. Mateo, come stand by me. There we go. He's like, ooh, I want to watch with you. Oh my God. The countdown has begun. I'm going to need Millie to go over here and maybe we can kiss at the right time. Romance. Uh, physical intimacy. Kiss. Is she going to make it? Let's see if we make it on time. Oh my gosh. Here we go, you guys. Are you ready for the countdown? Woo! Oh, here we go. Oh, they're kissing a little bit early. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yay! Happy New Year! Woo! Uh, that was really underwhelming. Was I not, was I supposed to like actually, oh crap. No one counted down, guys. No one counted down. Whatever. That was really, really underwhelming, but we'll pretend that they actually had a good time. <laughs> okay. She's like, okay, let's get this drink. <laughs> Finally. Is this guy back to... Okay, we can order a drink now. Order drink. Let's try for a rum and coke. I hope I'm not actually spending this money just for him to rip me off and not make me my drink. Oh my God. And he's off the thing again. Oh, wait. I think they just counted, counted down like super, super late, but I think it happened. <laughs> oh. Well, Millie and Ivan are like having their own conversation and Tasha's like totally interrupting it. She's like, Ivan, great job on the radio station today. He's like, it was all you anyways. <laughs> Honestly, I, I have a feeling that the band might be just a smidge mad at her. But um, I think she's going to grab a few drinks and then I think we're going to get out of here. It's almost 1 a.m. So uh, let's catch a taxi or something. Thank you. 